Welcome to the grand premiere of the movie 42, The Breaking Bears by Max Weitzman. We go back to the year January 13th in 1919, Carryout, Georgia. That was the year when Jackie Robinson was born. Jackie's family was very poor. The reason why is because they were black. Jackie had five siblings. His first one is Mac Robinson, and he was born in 1914 and died in March 2000. His second sibling was Willie Mae Robinson. She was born in 1916 and died in 1997. His third sibling was Edgar Robinson. He was born in 1893 and died in 1973. His last sibling was Frank Robinson and he was born in 1935 and died in 2019. So like we see, Jackie was the second youngest in his family. His parents were Jerry and he was born in 1839 and his mother's name was Sharon Robinson and she was born on January 13, 1950. When Jackie was one years old, his parents Jerry and Sharon Robinson split up and his father married another woman and kicked out Jackie's family where they have lived. So they moved to Pasadena, California in 1920. Jackie went to UCLA for college and played five sports. The sports that he was good at was football and baseball. In 1924, he met his wife, Rachel Robinson, who was born in 1922 and died in 1972. Jackie and Rachel got married in 1946 and had three kids. His first child was Sharon Robinson and she was born in 1950. His second child was David Robinson and he was born in 1952. His last child was Jackie Jr. and he was born in 1946 and died in 1971. He died from a bad car accident. A thing to remember about Jackie Robinson was he was discriminated by the color of his skin. His first challenge was getting stepped on by another player's cleat. His second challenge was playing in the MLB. The reason why is because he wanted to be the first black baseball player. In 1945, Jackie started his career for the Kansas City Monarchs and the Negro American League. In 1947, Jackie got called up by Barry Rickey, president of the Dodgers, and he wanted Jackie to play for the Dodgers. So then Jackie signed for the Dodgers and won six National League championships, one National League MVP, one World Series, one National League Rookie of the Year in 1947, and he was inducted into the MLB Hall of Fame in 1962. His main goals were to be the first black baseball player. After Jackie retired, he became a successful businessman and achieved support of political cases. His first biggest challenge in the MLB was getting into hotels. The reason why is because he was black. A fun fact about Jackie is he was in the army in 1942 and faced discrimination with authorities with horrifically discharged two years later. The second fun fact about Jackie is his number 42 is the only number to be retired across all Major League Baseball. Third fun fact is Jackie's middle name was inspired by Teddy Roosevelt. In October 24th, 1972, Jackie Robinson died in a heart attack. In his memory, they built a museum to represent African American baseball players. Now his legacy lives on in the MLB because on April 15th, the MLB celebrates Jackie Robinson Day, where all MLB players wear the number 42. To conclude, now you know how the black and white bear in baseball was broken. If Jackie was still alive, he would be very proud of what he did, because if it wasn't for Jackie, black and white baseball players would not be playing with each other. The last thing I would like to say is Jackie was a very brave person for doing this because he could have been killed or sent to jail or killed on the spot. Thank you to the people who helped me with this project. Here's a quote by Jackie Robinson.